Hey, what is up guys, Rocket here, and today I'm going to be showing you uh, how I build a train, or what I'm going to do to build a train, and what you're actually seeing isn't me playing the game, I'm actually doing a commentary over the game, so what I'm not actually playing the game right now, there was a voice track for this, but what you're going to see now first is me going to make a wheel, what I do is I put t uh, two quartz stairs upside down, uh, you can swap this for anything you want if you're going to build this in survival because it is completely easy to build in survival and you can see I've made the stairs like that you all know how to do that two on the top normal two upside down on the bottom now what I go ahead and do now is I just do the same thing one more sorry about the dog if you can hear that um, I do one more on the other side just to thicken it out a bit just to make it look like a bit more of a wheel now I do actually change this at one point so it does look a bit better but that's later on in the video so you'll be able to see now what I'm doing is I'm actually building the surface it's just out of normal oak wooden planks uh, the surface there you can see uh, there is one where I put the window and then I've made three behind it ignore the bits that I'm building on top I'm about to remove that um, but what I did is I reorganized it so that the windows where they are placed are actually the center of the windows I make it six wide I'm not entirely sure how tall it is I will put that on screen in a second but um the actual window is six wide and the center of the window the two blocks in the center are actually aligned with the two blocks of the wheel that you can see now so if you go ahead and do that that makes it a lot easier to kind of link it up together now it's I actually believe it might be eight tall I'm not entirely sure but uh, if we just have a look here it will appear in a second and what I do is I build two a uh, two block thick frame around the outsides so that does actually make it a lot better to look at so it's six by seven it's six blocks wide seven blocks tall and it just kind of gives it that square minecrafty look uh, but it still makes it look realistic and you can see where I've built it it's actually um, just above the wheels so that helps like I said to coordinate where you're gonna build so what you can see I do now is I've actually got world edit installed just to speed everything up so what I'm gonna do is I just copy it and then I'm gonna paste it but what you do is just obviously build the thing over and over again and when it's actually place down there's actually a four block uh, piece of wood in between the windows and it just kind of thickens it out makes it look a little bit better uh, so I just go ahead and paste that over and over again because and it, you'll see here it is five wide but actually when I carry on in the video it does end up getting to six wide but you'll see why in a bit and I'll explain why but what I go ahead and do now is I'm actually about to go and change the wheel and when I change the wheel it's a 2x2x2 two by two by two block of quartz so just normal quartz and then I put stairs on the outside and as I did before it's 2 normally on top place how you would normally stairs and then 2 upside down underneath the normal stairs uh, I will put a little snapshot of that in the video I'll just put it up screen now um, so that kind of makes the wheel look a little bit more realistic so when I build rails in the next video it does actually look like it's balanced on the rails or set on the rails and that's only so the train doesn't look like it's like a donkey on a thimble kind of idea and it you can see it just makes it look a bit better so what I'm gonna go ahead and do is move the camera to another position because then you'll be able to see properly what I'm doing but what I just do now while well you can still see this is I move the um, wheel I'll put the wheel on a another on the other side which helps uh, kind of 
organise what I'm doing on the other side when I finally finish building it. So the next piece now is the actual floor of the inside and that is 12 blocks wide going from the side one side of the windows to the other side of the windows and that again is out of oak planks when I like when I refurbish it in the next part it actually probably I might change it because I don't like the way it's just oak wood I might put a pattern in it but like I said it is 12 wide so what I do here is I just speed up the process while editing it and uh that does become 12 blocks wide then so it's four lots of three that I just paste in um, and then you're gonna see now what I'm gonna go ahead and do is actually put the window another window and the floor in so you just want to extend it by enough to make the window again so that made it a lot because <laughs> right now the train if I did it like that would look really stubby and short but if I do that again make another window on the floor it just you'll see now that it does actually improve the way that the train looks you can see there that the train does look a lot longer and a lot better but what I'm going to go ahead and do now is going to copy the the side of the train but what you would do is obviously build it and I'm going to paste it along so just imagine that I'm building it um, so what would happen is you would completely mirror the windows on the one side and bring it along to the other side which you'll see now um, but the windows are exactly the same proportions exactly the same height there you go it's just built and um, what, I'm, what you want to do obviously is put the piece underneath I didn't end up building the wheels which I completely forgot about uh, so I'm sorry about that uh, they will be built but you want to build the piece underneath so it fills it out makes it look like a straight line on the bottom and um, what I go ahead and do now is I'm actually gonna go and build the roof now it might be a little bit difficult to explain but once you actually see it starting to be built you'll understand it is very very easy to get a hold so what you want to do to actually build the roof is you want to make a line across the top over the uh, the window area and that can just be out of the same wood that you make your train from so what you want to carry on and do now is do what I'm doing here is put another layer that goes in towards the area of the trainer and then one above that so it kind of emulates the um, the whole kind of stairs effect so that then you can see how I'm doing it now so all you need to do is copy that and then what I do just for speed once again is I, uh, I use world edit and then I copy it over so it just speeds things up and in a minute I will swap the camera angle so you'll be able to see what I'm doing on the other side but here you can see I'm literally just pasting it it just shows you what you'd have to do if you're going to build it but you have to build that six up so you do six steps in after the one that's above the windows so the camera angle now I'm going to swap that over and then you will see what I'm doing on the other side so what I went and had and done next is exactly the same thing but on the other side so you can see I'm doing a piece above the windows once again and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to do exactly what I did before which is put another layer on the inside there like you can see and I did it a bit differently this time so you could easily see what I was doing and then like I showed you before you're going to put one more layer on top of that layer you created inside um, so you just got to copy what I was doing there and then once again for speed I literally just copy this over which allows me then to just show you easily what I did um, so what happened is you'd have to just build this normally and you'll see in a second when I finish doing this I actually get to the point where it both matches at the top here so now and you can see that's me uh, met at the top very perfectly so you can see now what I do finally is I just take the top off just so it gives it a more rounded effect um, and what I'm going to do here is I'm just using a the basic Minecraft fill command 
and I'm just going to fill it with air just so it gets rid of those blocks um, but all you'd have to do is break the top off and then it, you'll see in a second it just flattens it out perfectly so now you can see this is the end of this very first part here and um, you can see that it was like perfectly meeting at the top and uh, it's just easy to do a number like that because when it comes to the build later on when we finish it off it's just going to make it easier and it's more aesthetically pleasing if you want to make it smaller you've just got to downscale everything by one and uh, like you've got to make it half the size so that will help and if you do want to build it some other way then that's entirely your choice but I'm just showing you how to build it the way that I would build it but that's it for this first part here so if you did learn something from it uh, please definitely check out part 2 if it's released if not that's coming soon but for now I hope you learned something I hope you enjoyed the video thank you for watching please leave a like comment and subscribe and I will see you in the next video peace